I'm painting a new painting. This is on Luon smooth plywood. I have the drawing already done. And I always start with the background and I do it in acrylics so I don't have to wait a long time for the oils to dry. I'm putting the vermilion acrylic paint on and then I'm going through and putting some swirl swirls in the paint. Then I do the inside of the ears with acrylics. This whole, oh, I accidentally cut out doing the eyes, but I do the eyes with acrylics and the nose and the mouth area with acrylics. The point of doing all that with acrylics first is because I'm so fast and I don't want to wait to do details with oils. They have to dry a couple of days and they're all um, blurry edges and I want crisp edges. So I've developed doing the acrylic in details first. I'm putting some more details. You do the larger areas and then you go through with a smaller brush. I also like to do the extra edges of fur with acrylics before I move on to the oils. I like the added layers. I do more fur edges with the oils on top. I rotate the the board at, according to how I need. I don't like to push my brush. I just want to pull it. So putting in more acrylic edges and details there. And then I switch to oils with a palette knife. I like to start with the white areas first so they are not dirty. And then I switch to a brush to help it blend in to the acrylic areas. So I put in the white and then I put in some burnt umber around the edges of the white to do the shading. And then I have a smaller palette knife that I use for small details and small areas. If you don't have shadows, it just looks too flat. You got to do the shading. So next I'm moving to white and I think it was cadmium yellow for the main face of this llama. I'm not sure if it's a llama or alpaca. And then the shaded areas of the yellow are yellow ochre. And then I bring in some of the burnt umber for the really dark areas. So I apply it in the area and then I um, do the texture to blend the colors in there. Doing my red little blush thing that I like to do on them. Bringing in some burnt umber around the edges of his thatch of hair to help it really pop. Applying it is a lot like I tell people it's like painting with peanut butter. It's thick. So bringing in burnt umber around the edges of the hair to give another layer. Make that guy look good and hairy and messy. Which I think he's so adorable. I was really in the mood to paint something goofy. Only painted one thing last week. I've had so many shows cleaning the house. So I rotate the board that can reach the neck area. Put in my shadows and then put in my use a brush to do the edges of the fur and then use my palette small palette knife to do the texturing. Now it's time for the thatch of hair. <clears throat> it was um I wanted it to be darker, so I brought some burnt sienna in with yellow ochre so it would show up better. I didn't want it to be too dark or it wouldn't show up against the vermilion background. So you apply it, you put the main color down, and then you do the texture with the other palette knife. And then I thought it needed some shadows, so I brought in burnt umber. I've decided upon my friend's suggestion.